2-2 as we go to the bottom of the tenth, and let's go back to the bottom of the ninth. As Francisco Lindor with two outs, two strikes, line one just beyond the reach of Alex Gordon. And as Eric Gonzalez sprinted home with the tying run, look at the reaction of his teammates. <laughs> Keep it coming, yeah, that gives them life. That tied the ball game up, sent it to extra innings. And I'll tell you, the Indians, but look at that. You don't think he wanted to do that? They are 8 for 21 today when they have two strikes on. And those two hits in the ninth inning came with two strikes. Naquin Amazing. and Lindor. So, you know, down to their last strike, there's no quit. Well, Brandon Maurer is on the pitch now for Kansas City. Jose Ramirez to lead it off for the Tribe, and he takes a first pitch strike. One ball, one strike. Brandon Maurer started the year with the Padres. All in all, not great numbers. Ramirez lines one right center field into oh, the gap. It'll be cut off by Lorenzo Cain. And Ramirez is going for two. Here's the throw. He is saved. Unbelievable you hustle. I mean, seriously, you don't think that's a will to get to second base? When Lorenzo Cain, one of the better center fielders in the game, has the ball in front of him. And he was challenging him. He thought he was going to stop. And. Jose just never stops. That's his 50th double. Watch this. It surprised him, I believe. He had to put a little extra on the throw, and he, it wasn't accurate. Instead of getting rid of it quickly, that's what pressure can do. But this kid is something special here. My goodness. Look at He was thinking of stopping and then challenged him. Great hustle. That's the winning run, folks. We showed you that double yes. from yesterday, earlier in the game, and it was the same sheer determination and will. And now Edwin Encarnacion takes a strike. The winning run in scoring position here in the bottom of the 10th. I think 99% of the people would have stopped at first base in that situation. And Edwin swinging for the downs comes up empty. It's 0 and 2. Mowers 0 2. Up and away. He's just rearing back and throwing it as hard as he can right now, hoping he can get out of this jam. And Carnacio, Jay Bruce to follow. Foul right back. He was on that one, but at 97, tough to square up. And the one two, way outside, and Carnacion takes. And that evens the count. <laughs> Nerves are a bit frazzled here in Cleveland, Ohio. And the 2 2. Just a bit outside, and now a full count. The crazy thing about this is that you have that feeling, and yet. It's just a regular season game. It's just history they're yeah. playing for. No, they, they want to keep this thing rolling, boy. They want to go to number 22. The 3 2. Check. Did he go? They appeal. He did not. And a walk to Encarnacion. But you know what I'm saying? It's not like oh, yeah. game seven of a postseason series where you know if you don't win, <laughs> yeah. it's over. There's still another game tomorrow, but this has a different feel than any regular season game I can ever remember. No doubt. And Ramirez tonight has been right in the middle of it all. First two at bats, base hits, down in the count with two strikes. Then he hits the double. That made it interesting and set up that inning. They didn't score, but here it is. I mean, here this is sheer will. This is wanting to get yourself in scoring position. Challenge the center fielder to make a good throw, and he did not. Now Jay Bruce. Wow, almost hit him. Jay is 0 for 3, walked back in the sixth inning. 
And the fans with the bruise call. And out to the mound. These are actual boos. <laughs> Maybe they're, some of them. They're not they're not Buterra calls. <laughs> as he goes to talk to Maurer. Yeah, you can see he's starting to speed it up a little bit. He was basically uh, all fastballs early. And then Ramirez got on second. He had Encarnacion down, and he ended up taking that walk and working himself in that yeah. bat to get on first base. The 1 0. In off the plate. These are the two guys that had the opportunity back in the eighth inning. Jay Bruce Santana on deck. That could have tied the game for the Indians then. Rip to right. It's Down over. the line. Fair ball. Around third. Ramirez will score. It's a walk off for number 22. Amazing, isn't it? You won't get much closer, if at all, to a postseason like reaction than what you've seen here tonight because nobody's screaming for the exits. They want to savor it, they want to soak it all in. Everybody here tonight, those of you watching at home, you're part of history. A winning streak like this, incredible. You'll never see it again. 22 straight. The only win streak longer than this one now in Major League history occurred over a hundred years ago. They were down to their last strike in the ninth and they tied it. They get that opportunity and the guys that had the opportunity to tie it up Jay Bruce comes up clutch. Remember what we talked about way back at the very top of the telecast tonight. Jay Bruce when Jay oh, yeah, Bruce the arrived silent, the Indians have gone. Now 31 and 5 since his addition to the ball club, and we go downstairs to Andre. Thank you guys. First of all, Jose, there's a word that you always use that you tell everybody when you play. Tell everybody the word that means the most to you about baseball being aggressive. You just have to be aggressive and always know that we're the best and have to fight until the end. Jay, what about this guy has impressed you so much since you've gotten here? Everything. Everything. This guy, he plays the game literally with his hair on fire. And I know there's a shirt and all that stuff. I mean, he's, he's, he's been amazing, man. He really has. He's a spark plug. Him and Francisco at the top there. He does it all, man. He does it. I asked him what kind of hitter he was today. And I said, no, no, I got it. You're every kind of hitter. He's amazing. In the, in the last inning, were you okay? What, made, what went through your mind to go to second when you hit the ball? I didn't think it was going to be a double, but then I saw the center fielder slow down a little bit. And so since I'm aggressive, I just ran and legged it out, and I knew that I had a good chance to, to execute it. Jose, great game. We appreciate it. We're going to talk to Jay a little bit more. Jay, this is just your normal ho hum September game, right? Oh, my God, man. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. For you, having the situation in the eighth and being able to come back up in the tenth, 
Do you even think about that when you're going up to bat when you had a chance to win it earlier? You know, it frustrated me. It really did, you know, because uh, I take a lot of pride in, in, you know, producing runs, driving in runs. And, you know, it was a ball I should have, I thought I should have caught earlier in the game. And, uh, you know, I wanted an opportunity to pick my teammates up, and I got that again here in the in the tenth. You talk about Jose and Lindor being spark plugs. What is it like playing with two young guys? They're so young, but they don't play that way. They're great, man. They're great. The energy they bring every day, you know, uh, I love it. I really do. You know, we have a, such a great mix of, of youth and veterans here, and, you know, these guys, you know, it's not like they need the leadership, but, you know, they're, uh, they bring what they need, and we bring what we need, and, and man, it, it's, been, uh, it's been great. 22 straight, what's that mean to you? Right now, everything, you know, I, I like our chances tomorrow, so, you know, I look forward to that. Like, I, I, I said a bunch that we're conditioned to kind of put this one behind us. Uh, you know, this was uh, probably the toughest one we've had. Um, you know, being down all game and down to our last strike and, you know, Francisco coming up big there. And then, you know, uh, I felt good when we had another opportunity. Congratulations. Enjoy it. And it's done. So, like midnight, right? Yeah, there we go. Good job, man. Back up to you, Matt and Rick. Thanks a lot, Andre. Great job with both uh, Jose Ramirez, who sparked the Indians here tonight with his absolute all-out aggressive nature. And thanks to Jay Bruce as well for stopping by because you and I've talked about this so many times in the past. What I love most about this game is there's always a shot at redemption. And you heard Jay Bruce say, you know, man, I wish I would have caught that ball earlier. Had a chance with the bases loaded, didn't come through, but he got another opportunity and he delivered. Well, and again, uh, what's the pitching do? It was two oh. runs they gave up. You know what I'm saying? So it gives the offense an opportunity to come back. And, you know, they haven't had a, a tight a game where they had to fight this way late or down. They were down to their last strike. And I'll tell you what, you don't think these guys want this streak to continue? Boy, they've proven it tonight. Well, let's go back to that ninth inning. The Indians were literally down to their final strike. And Lindor drove one a deep left. Gordon with a great effort. He's a gold glove outfielder, but he couldn't get it. Gonzalez scored the tying run. Look at you're talking about your regulars that are out on the field waving them around. You know what I mean? You're talking about those guys right there, and Lindor kept his streak going, and in the tent, this is the one that got me going right here. He challenged a Gold Glove outfielder, and he beat him to second base just by a whisker, and that set up the inning. You had to win it there. Encarnacion walked in his next at bat, and Bruce put a good swing on the ball. As soon as it left, he knew it. Watch it. See ya. Yep. And goes up in the air like the arm does, like his ball. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the Indians come back, man. That was a great win. Fun to watch. Congratulations. And they may keep it going for a while now. <laughs> it's just, it's always cool to see the new guy get one of these deals where they beat him up and douse him. Well, Naquin got a base hit coming off the bench pinch hitting in the ninth. Yeah. You know, before Let's the out, he was that. down to two. I mean, there's everybody is participating in yeah. this. And it is something very special now. And it's a, it's creating an animal in this city that is going to go wild. Woo well, that was a lot of fun, and we hope you enjoyed being part of it here tonight. Stay tuned now for Indians Live with Alan Jensen. That's coming up next, and we're right back here tomorrow night to do it again as the Indians try to run it to 23 as they face off against Kansas City once more. Indians Live, Al Jensen, Andre, the whole gang next. <laughs>